I used to live a wonderful life. I had everything a man could wish for. A six-figure job, a beautiful house in the suburbs, sports cars. And last but not least, a beautiful woman I planned on making my fiance. Everything was going so great for me until that one day. It was a Sunday, I remember. Me and what I thought would be my future fiance were about to go to this luxurious romantic restaurant. Five stars! I was going to propose to her with this $100,000 ring. Not to brag about the price or anything, but she deserved it. She was the one. Beautiful, smart, bright white smile, slim body with a nice little booty, C-cup breasts. Man, she was the full package. But most importantly, she cared about me. We would talk every day, rarely argue, and we just had that vibe, you know? She was wifey material. I just knew she was the one. I thought nothing would ever break us apart. Well, I sure as hell thought wrong. You want me to grab that baby? Oh no, I got it, honey. Go ahead and finish getting ready. Your beauty deserves all the time and effort you put into it. Aw, you're such a suck up. <laughs> Coming! Who in the hell could be knocking this late? If I would have known that opening the door would ruin the rest of my life forever, trust me, I would have let that shit close like a nun's pussy lips. Yo, sup, pops? Uh, sorry, but I think you had the wrong address, kid. Nah, nigga, this the motherfucking address. 333 Poppy Lane Drive? Sounds gay as fuck, but these homes is straight. <laughs> I know, but um, if you don't mind, kid, um, I have somewhere to go tonight. Well, go the fuck ahead, pops. Shit, let me make myself right at home. Where your fridge at, nigga? Nigga thirstier than the Instagram hoe. Can you stop saying the N-word? No matter how hard you try, you are not black, kiddo. Yeah, huh? My great-grandma on my mom's side was black. You should know this, Pops. I am not your father for the last time. Oh, yes you is, Mr. Winston. Name is Jay Winston, ho, a.k.a. J-Dubs. The hoes call me that because when they ride my dick, Shit, they say feel like they sitting on 24 inches, mo. I would say I got my big dick from you, Pops, but you sound like a little bitch. So maybe I got it from my mama. Where did you get such a vulgar mouth? How do you know my name? What is this, a prank? I'm gonna call the police. Fuck this. Is everything okay, honey? Damn, Dad, I see you. Booking bad bitches. Damn. Yo, Pops, ask her if she do threesomes. It'll be rude if I ask. What? What the hell? Uh, honey, who the hell is this? I don't know, damn it. Just some disrespectful kid who thinks I'm his father. Thanks. Nigga, you is my father. What? What? Honey, this kid is lying. <laughs> really, nigga? I'm lying? Shit. I'm lying about how you got my mom pregnant and left her to be a single mom so you can advance in your bullshit career while having zero distractions. Then you left her in the worst neighborhood in America where there's at least 50 murders a day, yo. Now my mom became a statistic. Here's her obituary paper. It's all your fault, bitch. Oh shit. I remember her. I, I remember now. Well, sorry kiddo, but your mom was a whore. It was a one night stand and I was young at the time. I mean, I gave her the money to get an abortion and I don't know what the hell she did um, with it. Uh... Honey, what the fuck? You slept with a whore? Had a kid and you never once fucking told me about it? And I thought we were both against abortion. Honey, I can't explain. How in the fuck can you explain this? You basically lied to me and you fucking told me that you didn't have any kids and saying you were against abortion. You just told me this because I'm Catholic. <sighs> Look, okay, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I was young and at the time I was for abortion until I realized how cruel it was. Come on, please forgive me. Look, I want you to be my wife, Sarah, please. We can raise this kid together, be one happy family. I, I, I can't do it, Winston. I'm sorry. I'm better than this. I'm, I'm not going to be a fucking stepmom. I don't care if his mom died or not. I'm not taking care of some other ratchet bitch's egg. Fuck you, Winston. I'm done. Damn, that bitch is harsh. She probably got some good pussy, though. Do she, Dad? Ha, <laughs> shit. She must have. You sitting there crying and shit. Well, time to move in and get comfortable. Ha. <sighs> Damn, this house is nice. I see why you left my mom. Shit, I would have left her ass, too.
I didn't get any sleep that Sunday night. I couldn't, I was too devastated. It didn't help that I had to go to work the next day at 9 a.m. I worked at a local hospital. I knew the boss, Mr. Bedick, so he was able to vouch for me and get me hired as chief financial officer. I loved my job, and I love the fact that it was like a safe haven for me. A place where my coworkers and I could communicate about our problems in a mature, hint, a mature manner. We talked sports, politics, everyone got along with one another. Work was peaceful and fun for me. Too bad that shit was all about to change. Winston, what the hell is wrong with you? You look like you've been raped by a raccoon. My life just turned into complete shit in a matter of minutes. What the hell happened? Do you remember almost 12 years ago when I threw that party and slept with that whore? Yeah. Got the best head ever that day. How could I forget? But what about her? I had got her pregnant. But I gave her the money for an abortion. But I guess she used it to do drugs or something. Damn. And now the little bastard popped up at your doorsteps, huh? Yes! Oh shit! Didn't he grow up in the worst neighborhood in America? I remember that whore was from there. Does he act like those people? Yes! He exemplifies the worst behavior anyone could ever fathom. Ever! Damn! What does your girlfriend Sarah think? She fucking left me! What? Cause she didn't want to be a stepmom and... That's not even the worst part. She found another guy today, and we broke up just yesterday. Well, sorry to break it to you, Winston, but there's a 10 out of 10 chance she was fucking that guy already. And you just dumb as fuck and never realized. She just wanted any reason to break up with your dumb ass. Of course, I didn't realize I thought she loved me. Yeah, well, she loved being a whore more. But anyway, sorry to break it to you while you're down, but I have some bad news. <sighs> please, please don't tell me I'm fired. Even worse. I need you to train somebody. <sighs> Thank God. I actually don't mind training. I mean, how is that worse than getting fired? He's like no one you've ever trained or possibly met before. Probably even worse than your little bastard child. What's wrong with him? Uh, there's no tame in this guy. He says what he wants. Uh, locker room talk is everyday talk with this guy. But anyway, yeah. I need you to train him and I need you to train him well. I feel like you're the only person you can do it, Winston. So get the fuck out of my office and prove me right. His name is Jake. He's at cubicle number three. And good luck, Winston. You sure as hell will need it. This guy can't be that bad. Jake? You got it, bruh. Mr. Predict was not playing when he said this guy was liking the weather. Misogyny wasn't a foreign language to this guy. He boasted about having 25, no, 35 side chicks, five main chicks, 20 fuck buddies, and how marriage was a sin because it's greedy to keep one person all to yourself. That's why I fuck people's wives, dude. You can't just put a ring on a chick and make her your property. Like, fuck that shit. And come to find out... Oh, dude, I know her. He was having sexual relations with Sarah while we were dating. Dude, I've been fucking her for a hot minute. Matter of fact, I fucked her last night. I couldn't believe it. To make matters worse, Jake was friends with Terry who was one of my close friends on the job. Terry always told me he was faithful to his fiance, but evidently, Jake brought out that lie. Dude, you married? Nah, engaged, man. But you already know, I'm down to fuck these bitches. Yeah! Yeah! Man, I'm about to turn this boring ass workplace to a fucking party zone. Woo hoo! Ah, well, there went my safe haven. Ruined! And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. Stupid Jake, stupid Terry, stupid boss for having me train stupid Jake. Fucking immature sex addicts. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh hell no. This little bastard is not throwing a party in my house. Julie, is that you? What, what, what's wrong? <laughs> Jake kicked me out of the house. <laughs> because I wouldn't fuck the whole crew. What the fuck is going on in here? Whoa, hold on, buddy. No one is allowed upstairs. Wait, this is my house. Motherfucker, I don't care if this is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, nigga. You ain't going upstairs. Okay, but uh, no, really, this is my house. Who's throwing this party? A little white boy, uh, blonde hair and shit. Oh, Jay, you know where he is. Upstairs in the VIP section. He requested to be private, so I can't let you. I mean, I can gladly allow you into the VIP section. 
It's right in the master bedroom. My bedroom? Hey, 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 come on, come on, put the, put the weed out, guys. The fuck is you, Knuckle? Uh, the owner of this house? Uh, who are you guys? We Jay's Nuggets, Knuckle. Yo, your son know how to throw some gangsta-ass parties. Got strippers, some drink, weed, that good shit too, Knuckle. Where is Jay? He in the bathroom. I wouldn't walk in there, though. He took two bad bitches in there. Nuckle need to hurry the fuck up. I'm trying to crack him too. Yo, Jay, hurry the fuck up and get your nut up, nigga. Oh, my eyes! What the fuck? Come on, Dad. You ain't have to bust in while I was busting the nut. Oh! <laughs> I bet you ain't see that coming. Well, at least you got to see your grandkids before you died. After that incident, I felt like Jay needed better friends, so I decided to take him to the animal shelter to get some pets, thinking that maybe it would, I don't know, divert him from wanting to hang out with the kids at his school. So, Jay, uh, what are you gonna name your two pets? I thought that maybe he would say, uh, uh, Gabby and Banjo or Ruby and Fido, but no, he says, Pussy and Bitch. I couldn't believe what just came out of his mouth. Well, actually, I, I could. I don't, I don't know why I was surprised. Well, you do know the dog is a male, right? Yeah, but bitches can be males too. Just look at you. Everything was going fine after I got the pets for Jay. He seemed to, you know, Jay seemed to have calmed down a bit. Uh, he would walk his pets, take them to the park, etc. Until I remembered that I have zero luck and read a newspaper that Jay was robbing banks and using his dog as a getaway driver. I've tried to help Jay become a model citizen and respect others, especially women, but it won't work. Jay needs to learn that women are not hoes or bitches. We are God's finest creation that deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. I know you're probably creeped out by the fact that a cat is talking to you. And come to find out, both pets could talk. I said to myself, I, I must be dreaming. There's no way all this could be happening. Talking pets, a bastard son, and losing my fiance, porn stars at my job. I mean, this all had to be one just big fucking nightmare. So I just went to bed, thinking I would wake up next to Sarah. When I woke up, I felt like maybe it was all just a nightmare. Everything seemed normal. I mean, Sarah wasn't next to me, but maybe she went downstairs to get a glass of water. So as I was walking downstairs, I noticed that it was not a nightmare. I saw Jay standing in front of the stove, ass naked, making crack rocks, while getting hit from some girl, and rapping! I whippity 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 bitch, I whippin' a brick, your baby mama on her knees, suckin' my dick, yeah. Wait a minute, get up Sally. What's wrong Jay? Get the fuck up out of my house, trick! What? what why? Your head getting weak as fuck, shorty! But I told you Jay, it was my first time, I've never done this before. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Yo, bitch, drag this chick out of my house. I got you, buddy. Ah! I didn't even know what to say or do. I, I, I was horrified, shocked. I, I just never in my life seen anyone like Jay. Ever. So I just went back to bed hoping that it was a nightmare within a nightmare. Well, that concluded what I thought was going to be the worst week in my life. Only to find out. So Jay and Bitch were just arrested for robbing banks and sexual assault. Also, I don't have a litter box, so I pooped on the floor. Sorry. And oh yeah, Jay left the stove on so the house is on fire. You know what time it is, give me that watch, nigga. It was just the beginning.